What's up guys, James Mitchell, and you guys are here to learn this. What's up guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you a little more of a advanced transition here. And it's actually pretty simple, but the concepts behind it are a little more um, in depth, I would say. But let's get to it here. So obviously you guys just saw the transition we were going to learn which is all made and edited and shot by Taylor Cut Films. Um, I'm a fam fan of his, so this is all of his work. But as you can see, it has one background and then he's here and then it fades into another background while he's still standing here. So I'm gonna be taking some different footage but showing you guys the same concept. So let's start this off. We have our first clip, which is gonna be me standing on a mountain just like he was standing in the train station. We are going to have a transition clip, which is going to be, for me, smoke. And the smoke is going to be blowing to the right here. Now, the main thing about this is that the transition clip needs to be black and white because this transition is based off a of Luma King. So in Taylor's transition here, his is some kind of transition clip that starts here and as you can see it slowly starts to appear so it's like smoke but it diffuses outward and very smoothly actually but it diffuses outward and so what I'm guessing is that this clip was some kind of smoke or something that he had got from maybe a stock footage site that is white smoke and then everything else is black until the white smoke covers it all so that's the transition clip. Now it doesn't have to be smoke. It could be a car, it could be a plane, it could be any clip. And if the clip is color, all you have to do is apply some tint, some levels, and some exposure to create this black and white version. So you'll have then your third clip, which you are trying to transition into. So let's get to it. This is very easy. So you're going to take your transition clip and you're going to put it over your first clip here and you're going to make it obviously the length that you want to transition to and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to editing and we're going to search for track matte key and we're going to apply this to our first clip which is going to be me standing on the mountain so what this is going to do is we're going to come up to matte and we're going to select video 3 and video 3 corresponds to our transition clip which would be the smoke flying across the screen so what that did is that this is saying that this clip is going to be matted to this video which is video 3 here and currently it's set on matte alpha but we're going to change that to matte luma so what's going to happen is that anything that is white or bright is going to allow or is going to instead be white in our case instead be white our clip that is matted to that video selection is going to show through so where the smoke would be white our clip would show through now if we were to reverse this anything that is not bright or white our clip that is matted to this is going to show through so it's gonna flip so our clip is then gonna show through in the really dark areas of the video and that's when you hit reverse now you get this kind of weird blackness here and that's because there's nothing under our initial clip and so what it's gonna do is it's just gonna take the blackness and so it doesn't look very good but as easy as it is all you have to do is take your third clip and slide it on under until the very beginning of the transition matches up with it and what's gonna happen is now your bottom clip is going to show through where the smoke is and your first clip is going to stay where the black area is so then as the smoke flies across the screen your new clip is now showing through and that's pretty much the transition guys I will render it for you so you guys can see it and then I'll give you guys a few tips on how to make it better. So here we go. And then the smoke is going to transition us into our next clip. So as you can see at the very end here, it kind of, this is actually a pretty good clip. 
and the only reason is because I forgot to turn my opacity off here from when I practiced this tutorial but normally as you can see hopefully it'll play that the clip is gonna end uh, let me render it again what's gonna happen is the clip is going to end a little harshly because our initial clip is still going to be in the black areas where the smoke didn't fully cover and that's going to happen with any transition clip so some ways to change that is by changing the opacity which I will show you guys here in just a second so as I said when it gets to the end our first clip is just gonna kinda disappear bam so it kinda doesn't look very uh, smooth and so the way to change that is to come well first of all this happens because all of this region is still black Let me, uh, as you can see there now if you had a transition clip that went to all white you wouldn't have to worry about that but since my transition clip does not do that you're going to come to your initial clip and we're gonna to go to the end of the clip and put opacity down to zero and then maybe come over eh, I don't know We'll go maybe over 10 frames. Now nah, let's go 20 and then make this 100. And so what's going to happen is then our clip is going to slowly fade away and it's going to look like the smoke made it fade away. So it comes out very smoothly. All right. So now you guys are probably wondering, well, in Taylor's video, he is still in the clip here where I disappeared. And that is true. And this is a little bit more of a pretty advanced tutorial and on my guess is he probably used After Effects is what I would do and I'd be more than willing to show you guys but a quick breakdown on how he does that is he has let's come over here what happens is he actually has a duplicate of his first clip and he sends this duplicate into After Effects where you are going to rotoscope yourself out where he rotoscopes him out and so when you rotoscope yourself out it's like masking yourself after you've masked yourself it's just gonna be you on the clip so if you turned everything else off it would literally just be you and then a black screen behind you so if you can imagine his first clip is just him his second clip is him plus the background it's the original video so what he does then is he does the exact same process I just went through okay he has this first clip um, matted to his transition clip here and then what happens is as the transition clip blows out this original clip to the under clip himself that has been rotoscoped is not affected by that track mat key and therefore he stays there as his video switches it's very clever it's a very cool transition especially if you have a subject that you want to stay within two different videos especially like this where it's two different background transitions if you guys would like me to make a tutorial on that please leave a comment down below I'd be more than happy to otherwise guys that is the transition if you like that tutorial please hit the like button please subscribe check out some of my other videos and let me know what you guys want to see next till next time